Why do you think browsers are the next frontier for successful AI companies? Often watch said, like, like, why did Sundar uh, become the CEO of Google? It's because, like, he, he, he focused on the Chrome project, right? right? He was the one running the Chrome project. And, and that ended up being one of the biggest uh, weapons for them, this battle against Microsoft. And it took them many years, like probably 10 years, to actually become the leading browser. Uh, the browser is the uh, front end to your uh, internet, like, like experiencing the internet. Um, and uh, the Omni box, the search box, is where almost all the Google queries are going. That's why if you go to Google Trends and see the, uh, the top most queries by volume, it's always weather or like Amazon or Reddit or Instagram, Twitter, like these one word queries. Uh, so most people are just using it, uh, Google as a navigational tool. But if you can blend navigation, information, and tr activity like transactions and like doing actual browsing sessions all in like one clean interface uh, using the browsing infrastructure, uh, you can actually like go for it all in like one, one single tool. So that's, uh, and, and if you really want to transition AI from answers to actions, to doing stuff for you, answers are essentially like four or five searches in one. Actions are like an entire browsing session in like one prompt. You really need to actually have a browser and, 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 and hybridize the compute on the client and the server side in the seamless way possible. And that's, uh, that calls for rethinking the whole browser. We, we're not actually like thinking about Comet as a, yet another browser. It'll be a cognitive operating system. Uh, it'll, have, uh, it, it'll be there for you every time, anytime for work or life uh, as an assistant on the side or like just going and doing browsing sessions for you. And I think that will fundamentally make us rethink like, like how we even think about the internet. Like earlier we would browse the internet uh, but now people are increasingly living on the internet. Like the, a lot of our life actually exists there. And, and if you want to build a proactive personalized AI, it needs to live together with you. And that's why we need to rethink the browser entirely.